Welcome to the video series, Six Steps to IT Documentation. My name is Rachel Hutchinson and in the following videos I will guide you through the areas of software and licenses and services to demonstrate how iDoIt can help you to fully document your IT infrastructure. In the previous parts of the series we covered the topics infrastructure, networks, servers and client management. We created two branches, equipped the first server cabinet with devices, documented the cabling and presented possibilities of visualisation with the floor plan add-on. In the last part we covered how to document clients and the corresponding contracts including costs, reaction times and contact people. Today we will explore the topic in more depth to show you how to implement software and license management with iDoIt and how to automate IT documentation with the discovery tool JDisk. We will also show you how to quickly and easily create and manage your database management systems and the associated instances within minutes. Let's go to the live demo. You're already familiar with the menu category software from previous parts of the series. Now I would like to demonstrate how you can use and evaluate the available information in the best possible way. When we open an operating system, application or system service, we can see which systems the software is installed on and which license is used. This also works with licenses. Here you can also open up an overview to find out which devices the license is used for. In addition, iDoIt also checks how many licenses are still available and whether underlicensing has occurred. This means that either a license was issued twice or its pool of volume licenses has been exhausted. In either case, you must act now. In order to automate this process, iDoIt offers various options for informing the responsible people, suppliers and persons in charge. In the category Extras to CMDB to Notifications, we can rely on a large number of predefined notifications or create our own templates. First, we select the menu category License Expiration. In our use case, we would like to specify that the responsible administrator is notified three months before a license expires. Under Domains, we can now select individual licenses, basically all licenses, or select from the result of a report. In the last step, we define which persons or roles should receive the notification. By creating different notification templates, escalation levels can also be mapped. Not only are you able to be notified when the license expires, but also when changes have been made to important servers or when a warranty expires. In combination with the report manager, the possibilities are almost unlimited. Let's take a closer look at the report manager. The Report Manager is the tool for evaluating all the information from iDoIt. You can create reports according to your individual requirements. To do this, simply select any number of properties and add conditions. We will now create a report that shows all licenses, keys and their respective expiration dates. We select the license keys from the category Specific. Here we add the properties to our report by clicking on the plus icon. We can check the result at any time by clicking the check button. Currently, the selected attributes are still applied to all objects, so we need to add a condition to limit the evaluation. Therefore, we stipulate that only objects of the type licenses should be considered. By clicking on check, we can check the results again. We can extend this report at any time we like. 
If we want to know how many free licenses there are in the company, for example to make savings, we simply add an additional condition to our report and check the result again. We will now only be shown unused licenses. Let's look at some more examples. The report manager can also be used to display all of a user's devices, all the devices in a whole department, or those in a specific location. You can also create an overview of your existing mobile phone contracts and the corresponding users and smartphones. To keep a constant eye on your IT, you can send weekly, monthly or annual reports to administrators, service providers and IT managers in combination with notifications. With iDoIt, you can also document your existing databases. These are implemented via database management systems such as Oracle Database, Microsoft SQL Server, or MySQL. iDoIt again offers the possibility of displaying relationships with other devices. To do this, we specify the server on which the database management system is installed and configure the allocated computing resources as required. Next, we create iDoIt as a database instance. We link this instance with the database management system we just created. This simple documentation provides a clear overview of your database instances. In addition, you can also document schematic, tables or cluster configurations if required. If you have only just started with IT documentation or want to capture certain areas of your company completely, it is also possible to use JDisk. JDisk is a discovery tool that automatically captures networks, devices, software and licenses, and much more. JDisk works agentlessly, i.e. it uses credentials and protocols to retrieve information from devices. This makes it possible to obtain not only pure system information, but also extensive information about cabling, which services are running on the devices, which software is installed, and which licenses are used. We will now show you a simple example of how the CMDB iDoIt and the discovery tool JDisk work together to automate your IT documentation. We created a new object of type client in iDoIt and only entered the serial number. For a Windows 10 client, we installed JDisk and performed the discovery. For this, we specified the network where JDisk should find devices and a user who has administrator rights on the devices. The devices discovered are then listed in full with all the information discovered. We now import the client from JDisk into iDoIt. As you can see, the serial number of the device matches the client you just created in iDoIt. To avoid creating a new device during import, but instead complete the existing one with the information from JDisk, we have to create an object matching profile. Here, we assign a suitable name for the profile and select serial number as the matching factor. In this way, I do it checks during import whether an object with the serial number already exists and then updates it. There are predefined profiles for different use cases. These should be adapted to your own requirements before importing them. In the upper part, you define which object types from JDisk should be assigned to I do it object types. For example, a computer with Windows 10 discovered in JDisk should be created as a client in iDoIt. In the lower part, we have additional configuration options. Here we can configure if, for example, software and licenses should be considered during import. It is then recommended to work with a whitelist or a blacklist. With a whitelist, we determine which software is taken into account for the import. 
In the case of a blacklist, we determine explicitly which software should not be imported. A practical tip. It is easier to identify which software you need for your individual documentation than to determine which you do not need. It is now important that we select the object matching profile we just created. As we have finished the configuration, we can start the import process. The import for the devices only takes a few seconds. If we now open up our client, we see all the hardware equipment and the software installed, filtered by our whitelist and the corresponding licenses. JDisk is a professional tool to reduce the effort of IT documentation. The import process can also be automated so that you always have access to current data in iDoIt. Let us summarize. Today we looked at how iDoIt can be used to implement and evaluate comprehensive software and license management. In addition, we introduced the discovery tool JDisk which allows you to import devices and software. In the next part of our series, we will show you how you can model services with iDoIt. I would be happy if you join us again for the sixth and final part of our series. If you have any questions about iDoIt, please contact us at sales at iDoIt.com.